Welcome to the Flig video series. Uh, we're sitting down with Keith Brooks, um, multi-instrumentalist, uh, uh, musician in Chicago. Um, Keith, welcome. Thank you. Uh, Thank you so, much. so I'm just going to ask you a bunch of questions, talk a little bit about you and your career and um, your life a little bit. Um, Keith, where are you from? I'm actually from Oak Park, Illinois, which is a suburb not too far from Chicago. Uh, born and raised there, but still I have plenty of family in Chicago. Yeah. Uh, on the west side of Chicago, where I spent a lot of a lot of time at my grandparents' house. Uh, I went Cicero, so yeah. No way. I know the hood. I think my <laughs> my pops grew up in, near there. So, uh, so, so you're a musician. How many how many bands are you in? <sighs> how many bands am I in? Uh, a couple bands that I consistently play in is one is Nasty Snacks, mm -hmm. which is a phenomenal band. You need to check it out. <laughs> if you haven't, check out the video on Facebook, YouTube. Just a small minor plug. No, we like to plug here at Flick, so. Outstanding. Yeah. Uh, I play with also Jay Living in the Party. Um, that's another group I play with. Um, I, I also play keyboard and organ at two churches. So I do that every Sunday. Which churches? Uh, one church is my grandfather's church, like I said a little bit earlier. That church is on the south side. It's called Chicago Salem. Okay. Missionary Baptist Church, so I'm a minister of music there, uh, music director there. Um, and then another church is called New Rock of Ages, which is on the west side. Okay. Um, north Avenue of the Troll. Yeah, so, I mean, again, Nasty Snacks, they live in the party. Uh, I, I do a lot of jobbing with the Jazz, jazz Entertainment, um, as well as uh, I do a little sideband stuff with the Chicago Jazz Orchestra, um, the Joe Clark Big Band. Bob Markley band, you know, jazz, so, yeah. you know, a little bit of everything. So you're a busy guy. Busy guy, yes, like, sir. You pretty much have something going on every night of the week, right? Uh, uh, every night of the week. If it's not playing a show, um, you know, I'm teaching lessons because I'm an educator as well. Mm -hmm. um, drum line is instructor at the Chicago Jesuit Academy, which is on the west side of Chicago, uh, Laramie and Jackson. Okay. It's an all-boys middle school, you know, all the way from third grade to eighth grade. Oh, wow. And I run this is my, my first year, so... I've done drumline, we helped out with the jazz co curricular. And you know, my job there is not only teach them about music, but to be a great interpreter them as well. To make sure they're straight out course and they really do the right things. And music is like their outlet to kind of release their stress, right? In the choir. Okay. So, so you direct the choir too, or they got their own? Well, at both churches, uh, there is a choir director, but I kind of work hand in hand with, with them. So I help them picking the songs, and then as well as I know the song just like they do. So if they need help picking parts or learning parts, I gotta be able to play it or even sing it, need be. And then if they're not there, I gotta be able to do everything. Right, right. So like this past Sunday, uh, my choir director was there, but you know, the service is kind of, you know, it was going like not where I wanted it to go. So I had to really push it along, you know, lead worship a little bit more and really take the church a little bit higher before the speaker got up. Because a lot of times being a pastor in the church is the most difficult job you can have. Because you got to be so on point. Like, if the choir is not giving you what you need, then you got to come out and bring it just to help the people go further and further with the ministry. So you're not working as hard when you're preaching because, like, some pastors, they get up there and they preach their hardest, and then sometimes the crowd's just looking at them like, yeah, just not feeling it, yeah. Exactly. And so give them an opportunity where they're able to change it up a little bit. Sure. Still and have power them, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Give them, like, a leadership role. Where they're like, man, I feel important. Now I'm like, all right, now I want to do even more. I want to do even more. Right. Same thing with working with a band, like any band that's in Chicago or New York, California. Uh, everybody does their homework outside of rehearsal. Then when you come into rehearsal, everybody has their ideas. And nobody's wrong. You just try to put all the ideas together to create one massive exciting song that people that. would love to hear. Yeah, that's great. Because you look at the radio nowadays, every song is just super, super simple. Mm -hmm. And making millions and millions of dollars.